Hey YouTube, this is me, Tara, and I am back here with another video. Y'all, I am so exhausted, okay? So exhausted. So, um, yeah, it's been a pretty a busy week. Sorry, I uploaded pretty late because um just been hectic and everything. Um Christmas just passed, so uh, Merry Christmas to you all. And also, my daughter's birthday just passed as well on the 27th. So, um, I had a pretty um, busy 36 week. So, let's get to it. Alright, so, um, I'm 36 weeks as of right now. And, like I said, I'm exhausted, y'all. Like, I have been sleeping like crazy. Sleeping like crazy. But, um... Let me tell y'all what's been going on other than that. So, um, I have been having contractions now. And um, I went to both of my appointments this week as well. And I also got my information back from my Echo. Um, if you haven't seen my last video, you can go there to see why I had to do my um, Echo. But um, I got my Echo information back. Um, my results back and basically they said that my heart is normal. It just shows that um, I have hypertension as of right now Which we already know is because of the pregnancy, but um, everything is good from there. So um, I'm good with my cardiologist as of right now um, I went to my appointment on Wednesday Yeah, Wednesday For my non-stress test. Uh, we did the non-stress test Everything worked out fine. Um, and then also too as well, we did the uh, regular um, appointment where they had did the group B strep, uh, strep test. I think that's what it's called. Um, so they did that test, which the group B um, test, basically I really didn't have to do it um, because I'm having a C-section, uh, but most pediatricians, do recommend for the babies to have um, for the mothers to have that test for the babies just so that way they can be able to test everything out or whatever but um, so I did that test also because I have been having contractions and the doctor is seen it on the um, non-stress test as well um, they went ahead and had me to sign my papers uh, for the consent of the c-section and also for my um, tubal ligation as well so for my tooth to be tied as well um they also told me uh that if i have um a lot of contractions say for instance i have them um for every five minutes for over an hour i do not need to wait at all um i need to go to the hospital as soon as possible because i cannot have uh i can't wait that long um i need to make sure that i am you know at the hospital before time um, and get a cesarean she also warned me about um, the um, I would say some type of um, risk that could happen um, during the c-section um, which she said that it will um, affect my bladder um, but more than likely it will not so um it kind of scared me but i think all the c-sections um can affect your bladder so just praying everything goes fine there so that was my appointment on wednesday with my ob doctor um on friday i went to my um perinatal um appointment where we did the ultrasound see the growth of the baby as well um the baby is six pounds um they really couldn't get much um, of the growth. And the reason why is because the baby, um, my son, he was balled up. He is balled up and it's no room. Like it's no room at all. And so they were trying to get him to um, practice breathing, but he was asleep at the time. So we had to move over. I had to turn from side to side to have him to practice his breathing. Um, also, too, as well, they wanted to check his heart rate when he moved, but because he was asleep, 
we had to kind of maneuver him around to see what was going on. Um, my fluid looks great as well, but they've also noticed that I was having contractions there. So um, they gave me the same rundown. Um, my blood pressure this week has been a little bit elevated and um, it was 144 over 88. And that was a little bit elevated, but not um, in the danger um, in the danger level, I should say. So they want me to continue to um, look at that, keep track of it. Um, what else? Um, I also gained weight this week, but I I really believe because. <laughs> Christmas, my sister threw down and I chose not to cook. My sister cooked and my mom did as well. And so, um, I ate. I ate and it was Tuesday and Wednesday I went to the doctor. And it said that I gained five pounds. Yeah, five pounds. Um, but I haven't weighed myself since um, Wednesday. So, when we come up this next week, it could be where I lost that five pounds or anything like that. So that's that. Um, like I said, I have been exhausted. I sleep longer. Um, I don't feel like moving around. I, it's just been hard. And then especially my daughter, she had a sleepover on Friday. So um, my sister, she helped me out and my husband um, helped me out with the kids and stuff. Um, just make sure everybody was, you know, doing good and everything. And I had to find the energy from somewhere, but I did it. Kudos to me. Pat on the back. To survive three girls, three toddler girls at that. So, that was good. Um, <laughs> what else? I'm just tired. Y'all can see by my eyes. Like, I'm just tired. I'm tired. I don't have much swelling. I have swelling in my feet. That's all um, sometimes. Um, but other than that, I really don't have much swelling. Um, I haven't had any headaches or anything like that. Everything else has been pretty good. i just been going having contractions. And also, I've just been exhausted. Um, I have went um, baby shopping. So, we have everything for the baby as of right now. So kudos to us. And I also have my bag packed. And I have baby bag packed. Well, baby bag is not packed yet. I got his bag right here. But we have his set up in our room as of right now. Because um, I stay... Um, our bedroom is upstairs. And so I know for sure that after um, having him and having a C-section... That once I come upstairs, I am not going to be able to go back and forth upstairs and downstairs. Well, upstairs and downstairs or anything like that. So, um, we have his um, room. Well, we have his area in our room, um, which is like a hall. And we have like a little play pen um, with a bassinet. And also have his little setup with his um, things. Where it's like the diapers, wipes, bottles, all that. Um, and then my bed is pretty high. So I have a step stool for my bed as well. So that way, um, after I have the surgery, um, I'll be able to easily get into my bed without trying to jump in or, you know, strain myself or anything like that. Um, unfortunately, I don't want to stay downstairs. Um, because first and foremost, there's no bed downstairs. We do not have a bedroom downstairs. Um, and our full bathrooms are upstairs as well. So I would like to take showers and stuff. So like I said, I don't want to go back and forth up and downstairs. So we'll be able to, um, just once I come upstairs, I'll just stay upstairs until I'm able to go downstairs. Um, we have that set up. Um... Trying to think what else. I'm believing this all, you guys. Believing this all. Um, I still have more appointments. I'm oh, sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. But I have some more appointments to go to. 
Um, as of right now, I have 18 days left. 18 days, you guys. 18 days. And it's going to go by so quick. Oh, I just washed all the baby clothes, too, as well. Um, I was thinking about, you know, how the first time mom does everything right way. And um, once you're a second time mom, you don't. It's just like, yeah, whatever. It's survival mode. Baby gonna be all right. But, um, I was thinking that I didn't want to, um, wash his clothes. And because it's like new stuff and some things that he may not be able to wear. I won't be able to return it and get another one. But then, um came to realize like hey these are coming from warehouses i used to work in a warehouse before that stuff is dirty and dusty not only that when you're in the stores some stuff uh clothes are on the floor um you never know what or who or if if something ran over or not so just to keep <laughs> my baby safe i've already washed everything that our baby um can wear so i washed all of that um, putting everything up there, setting up his room, well, the closet with my son. So I'm setting that up, um, for him and the baby. But another thing too is I am going to make sure that I take my blood pressure medicine the entire time, even after, because I do not want what happened last time to affect me anymore. Um, but I guess I could just show y'all my belly anymore. So it's kind of look kind of crazy, but here it is from the front, from the side. You guys can see how my stuff just hanging off of me. And this side, and he's dropping. I can actually eat more now, but he's dropping. So thank y'all so much for watching my video. I am so happy that y'all did. Um, thank y'all so much for subscribing. I see y'all. I see y'all. And um, like, comment, subscribe, share my videos. If you know somebody else that's going through um, a high-risk pregnancy, you know, um, you can share their my videos with them. Um, and also, too, as well, you ask me questions. Or we can just talk about it, you know, because... Every, you're not alone. You're not alone. A lot of people go through it. Um, a lot of people don't talk about it, but um, I feel like this is something that we need to talk about, um, about having four C-sections, about um, being overweight and having your C-section, about having, you know, diabetes. Well, not diabetes, girl. I ain't got no diabetes, but... By having um, high blood pressure while you're pregnant, um, you know, we can just talk about it. Yeah. We also talk about being tired, honey, because I don't even know where y'all find the energy. Okay? I, I need all the energy. But I'll see y'all later. Bye.